Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. We've all had these kind of annoying web pages where you don't quite have enough content on some page and so the footer is like all the way up here and there's a bunch of white space down below. You're trying to figure out exactly how to make sure it always fits the screen. Well, I've got a little hack that I always do on my sites so that any page I'm working on at least always takes up the full view width on any device. And it just takes a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript. All right, let's go ahead and try to fix this. So you'll see here in the HTML, I just have a nav bar. I have some main content here, and then I have a footer. So that's all that you've got shown over here. CSS mostly isn't important right here. It's just styling um, this page to look like it does. Uh, I will have the link to this code pin in the description. You can play around with the finished version. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a class to the actual main tag. So we're gonna call this min height. And we're gonna use that class to style whatever is in the main tag. And that's how I happen to have this page set up. But whatever your kind of main content between your nav and your footer is, you can wrap this all in a div. Whatever you wanna call this, uh, you're gonna add a class to this section that is below the nav and above the footer. So let's come over here and the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna declare the root, which uh, is equivalent essentially to the HTML. We're gonna set up a few custom CSS properties or CSS variables as they're sometimes called. So we'll set a nav height. We could set this to whatever. We'll just set it to like, I don't know, let's set it to 10 pixels. And then we'll set a, a foot height or a footer height whatever, let's say foot height, and we'll do like uh, 20 pixels. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna use JavaScript to update these anyhow. Um, but the next thing we're gonna do is come in here and say, we want the min height. That's our class that we set up. We want it, its min height to be a calculation of this. So what we want is 100 view height minus, and here's where the magic comes in. We're gonna say minus the variable of nav height plus foot height, and then we'll just finish out our parentheses here. I think that's all of them. Okay, so here we go, 100 view height minus those. Now, right now you can see that's not really working, but if I update this to say like, I don't know, let's say it's more like 50 pixels. You see it moving up there. If I said it's 100 pixels, it'll move up even more. If I come over here and add 100 here as well, uh, which is bringing it up a little bit too high, and that's why we need to use JavaScript to update that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a couple other things. Let's say display of grid and then place items center, which is the same as saying display flex and align item center and justify content center. Um, and as, you know, hopefully you'll have whatever wrapped in a div here uh, or multiple divs. So it's essentially just positioning everything in the center of your page. Uh, you can change that if you don't want it that way, but um, that's not crucial to the whole operation. So now what we need to do is update this root variable dynamically so that anytime somebody comes on any page, whether they're resizing the page by like turning their phone or whether they're just on a different device, it'll always at least take up the full view width that they've got. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is write a little function here. We'll say function uh, set min, min height. Okay, that's what we're gonna call it. And we'll come in here and we're gonna grab a few things. We wanna always grab our nav bar. So we'll say document dot uh, query selector and we're going to grab the nav tag and what we want here is the client height itself so how much room it's taking up on the dom or on the web page uh, then we'll come in here and we're going to grab our footer so we'll say footer and that will be equal uh, we're going to set that to our footer as well and we want the client height there as well and we also need to grab the uh, root itself and then over this way, the root, and we don't need the client height. Uh, we just want the root itself. Now what we can do is we can say we want to say root.style.set property. And the property we're gonna set is our custom variable of nav height, first of all. And we're gonna set that to, with back ticks here, the nav, that's the client height of the nav bar. And then we're gonna add it in back ticks and add pixels on the end. And then we've got the root of the nav height set. Now we're gonna set the foot height to not nav, but footer. All right, so we've got all the essentials there. Now all we have to do is write event listener. So we'll say window.add event uh, listener. We're gonna listen for the DOM content loaded. And when that happens, we're gonna run our set uh, min height function. We're gonna ask the browser to do that. So as I refresh here, 
I'm getting an error. Let's see what it's got for me here. Document query selector is not a function. Oh, I misspelled this, sorry. Uh, query selector, which means I misspelled all the ones below. <laughs> um, let's see, all three of these. Now, if I hit save, it should refresh and dynamically update that. And you see how it's actually set uh, the window exactly where it needs to be. Sometimes if you shift from like side view to up view, you might actually change around some of the padding. So the other thing just to be extra safe that I usually do is come in here and say not just when it loads, but when it resizes. So when it resizes, I'll run that same function. So now whether you resize the window or whether you just load it for the first time, you'll always make sure that your page takes up the full view width and you can use custom properties to do that. I implement a version of this on all of my websites to make sure that I'm never leaving a page uh, kind of halfway up the screen for the user. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Again, the code pen will be in the description. Thanks for watching and happy coding.